If you are a blogger and you are working on content marketing, then you know how important it is to make a blog post which is not just good in content but it should also appeal to the reader. So to make a perfect blog post, you need to have a high quality content. Along with that, you need to have a high quality design. A few days ago, I came across this blog where they are doing product reviews and no doubt they are having some great content on their blog post. But if we scroll down, they are doing something very interesting. They are using the Glutenberg blocks to create this amazing looking sections, which actually makes the reader to stay on the page, read what it's written here. And this is actually what one should do if they are doing content marketing. You need to really design the blog post in such a way that it should catch readers attention. So I got really curious and I thought why not make some more blogs which people can use to create some amazing looking blog posts. So while I was thinking what are these blogs people should be looking for or what are these blogs that one might need for their blog or maybe for affiliate marketing website. So I came across this pitch ground deal where they are selling a affiliate booster theme which is in a lifetime license for $39. And if we scroll down for their features, they have these blocks. They have a comparison block, the topic block, the good and black block or notice block, call to action block and lot of other stuff. And if we see their product showcase video, so they are actually selling pre-made Glutenberg blocks, which will be inbuilt in the themes. And one can just use the blocks to create some amazing looking sections inside their blog posts. So if we scroll down, we can see that we have a product feature blog and we have some coupon block here and they have a lot of blocks that one can use in their blog posts. And here is their product showcase table, which I have already created a video. If you want to watch that, you can go ahead and check the video link in the description or I will leave the link in the i button above. Now, nothing against this theme or this deal. I'm sure they must be having some great product. One can surely go ahead and buy their product. My point here is if it is all about Glutenberg blocks, then why not just use plugins like Cadence blocks, which is so powerful that anyone can create these blocks by just using simple design techniques. So with that idea in mind, I spent some time and then created some Glutenberg blocks using Cadence blocks itself. And you can go ahead and download them for free of cost and use them on your website or maybe on your blog or, or maybe on your Amazon affiliate website. All you need to do is just visit the link in the description below. You will land up on this page. You just need to download all blocks here and it will open up the download link. You don't have to type in any of your email ID. So once you are on this download page, you can see the blocks here. These are all JSON files, which means that these are all reusable blocks, which you can easily import in the reusable blocks section of WordPress, no matter what theme you are using. So once you import these blocks, you can just try it out and just keep which one you want and then maybe delete the one which you don't want. And if you want to see the demo of each of these blocks, you can just visit this website. I will leave the link in the description below and you can head over to this demo section and you can choose the blocks here. For example, the comparison table block, which I have created in the previous video. And once again, I will leave the link in the i button above or in the description below. You can watch that video and see how I have created these tables by just using Cadence Blocks plugin. And you can easily create these tables using the Glutenberg blocks from Cadence. And if we go ahead and check more blocks, we have pros and cons block. Maybe if you are typing a product review, you might want to show the pros and cons. So we have a section where on the left we have the good points and on the right we have the cons, the not so good points. And if we scroll down, we have a block where we can showcase the pros and cons in form of some rows. And below we have another pros and cons box where the good points are showing as the thumbs up. 
and the bad points are showing as the thumbs down so once again if we have the top picked product if you are reviewing a lot of products on a blog post and you want to show the top picked product you can use blocks like this where we have a box and it's showing the product very highlighted with the title of the product and you have the amazon affiliate link here if in case you are doing a blog post about a digital product you can link your affiliate link on this button you can of course go ahead and change this icon and all the color scheme and we have a lot of options we can play around with so let's go ahead and take a look under the hood and see how these blocks are made so i'll go ahead and click on the edit page so now we are in a glutenberg editor and if i click on this border and if you take a look at this breadcrumb at the bottom left corner you can see that we have a coupon block one which is the reusable block and under that we have a row so if i click here you can see that the coupon block one is now highlighted so this is a row layout which is containing all this structure i actually added this row intentionally so that i can just select this row and convert that into a reusable block so if we go ahead and check the structure we have uh, the main uh, row holder row layout holder and under that we have the main row layout which is divided into three columns and if you go ahead and check we have this section here which consists only the image and we have the second section which consists of this text with the bullet points uh, with the icon list here and in the third section we have this price section and this button which if we check it is the advance button coming from the cadence blocks itself and this is the icon so, and these icons are also coming from cadence blocks so this is how you can use cadence blocks to create this kind of layout and then make it a reusable block so that you can add them anywhere on your website or on a blog post and if we scroll down on this block this is the column block 2 which is the row containing this whole structure and if we click here we can see that this is the row layout which is holding these three columns and it's a very simple layout on the top we have the icons which shows the rating of this product below that we have the title image and under that we have the icon list and below that we have the cadence advance button so this is how easy it is to create these kind of blocks now let me show you how you can import that in your wordpress website and how you can add that to your website on any page or maybe on any blog post so here we are on a fresh wordpress installation so in the plugin sections we only have the cadence blocks so you will be sure that i'm only using the cadence blocks to create and use these reusable blocks and if we go in the appearance and the themes and here i am using cadence theme now once again you can use these blocks with any theme but if you are using cadence theme you will have an additional advantage which i'll show you in a minute so let's go on any post and let's add a new post and let's name it sample import just to give it a name now here you can see that we do not have any reusable block here if it is a new website and you do not have any reusable block yet you cannot access the reusable block section directly so in order to import these blocks you need to directly open the reusable block section in the wordpress backend so i will leave a link in the description uh, which will help you directly land up on this page of reusable blocks all you need to do is just type in your website address forward slash wp admin edit dot php post type will be wp underscore blocks so it's a pretty complicated url so i'll leave a link in the description just replace your website url instead of this text and you will land up in your reusable block section so here we can see that we do not have any uh, blocks imported yet so let's go ahead and import a block 
So I have already downloaded the, all these blocks. So once you download all these blocks and just unzip the file. So we go ahead and choose one of the blocks. So here is the list of all the blocks in the zip file. So maybe we can go ahead and import pros and cons number four. The one with the big thumbs up and thumbs down. So once the block is imported successfully, you can see that it's available here. So if you click on edit, this will edit the reusable block. So whatever changes you do here, every time you import this block will be updated with the new changes you have made here. So we are not going to do anything here. Leave it as it is. So do not do any changes here until and unless you want to customize this actual block itself. So once this block is imported, let's go ahead and add that in our blog post. So in our blog post, let's click on save draft. Let me just refresh it once. Now, once we click on this plus sign, now you see we have a third tab which says reusable. And under that, we have our pros and cons block added here. So once we are in the blog post, we go ahead and click on the reusable section. Then we can click here and add this block to our blog post. Or the way I do it is just start typing with forward slash and then type in the block name. Here we have the pros and cons number four. So I'll click on this and now we have the block imported in our blog post. Now, once again, this is a reusable block. If you do any changes here, it will up, it will get updated in the parent block, which we have imported. So in order to do any editing for this blog post, just click on the parent from the breadcrumbs here. Uh, on the name of the block and from here you can see this icon which says convert it to regular block we will click on that now whatever changes we do it will only reflect on this block only it will not affect the actual reusable block now you can go ahead and add any content here it will be updated only at this block so let's go ahead and click on save draft and let's take a quick preview so here is our thumbs up and thumbs down pros and cons block so you can see that we have done the text editing a little bit here so this is how you can import these blocks and then use it on any page or any blog post on your website as i mentioned before there will be an add-on benefit if you use cadence theme to use these blocks so let me show you what i mean so for that, we click on customize. And if we go to general, then click on colors. Now, as you can see that our complete website right now is an orange color scheme, which we have defined from the color palette here. So in the same way, we have these orange color showing up in our blocks. This one got green and blue because I have defined that while building this block. So rest of them are pretty much in the orange theme. So if instead of palette one, I switch to palette two, you can see that the whole website is in blue color, which is the whole idea of this uh, global color palette. And along with that, you can see that our comparison table is also in the same color palette. Even our star ratings, our buttons, and all the links where we have used the colors from the color palette are now updated as per the website theme. So this is the biggest advantage of using cadence themes for these blocks. And if we choose the third palette, you can see that now we have all the things in green color. So this is the biggest advantage if you are using these blocks with cadence theme, you don't have to worry about the color scheme. It will always pick up the color scheme from your global color palette. So if I go ahead and click on publish here and close this one. And of course, if you are not using cadence theme, still don't have to worry. You can define all these colors while creating these blocks on the blog page. But the only thing is every time you change the color of your website, if you do, these blocks will not get updated. You need to do that manually. A little bit of advantage for Cadence theme users.
So in the end, feel free to download these blogs and try it on your blog or on your website. Let me know in the comments below which blog you like the most. And if you want to give any idea about a new blog that should be added in this collection, then feel free to let me know in the comment section below or you can use the form here at the bottom of this website. You can go ahead and click on, you can go ahead and tell me your opinions, your feedback or maybe your request for a new blog edition in this collection. I would love to hear your thoughts on this. And once again, you do not have to give your email ID to download this. You can go ahead and download this for free of cost. And just in case you want to get updates, if there is any new blog edition, then only you can type in your email address here and subscribe to the future updates. And of course, you will only get emails if in case we have any updates in the blog collection. So I hope you will enjoy these blogs and if you have learned something new in this video then make sure you hit like and share this video with your friends and subscribe to this channel if you want to see more videos like this and make sure you hit the bell notification icon to get notified whenever I upload a new video. So that's it for this video and I'll see you in the next one.